This activity is find a work of art that. You'll receive a prompt and your job is to find a work of art that matches that prompt to you. I'm Megan and I brought my family. This is Heidi, my mom, Matt, my father, and Gerald, but we all call him G, my father-in-law. All right, if everyone wants to pick their prompt, then we'll get started. Oh, oh, you can choose from the all four. Here you go. It says, find an image of a person with whom you'd like to have a conversation. Find a work of art that your grandmother would like or would like to have in her living room. Find a work of art that reminds you of your childhood. Find a work of art that has something to say about grief or loss. So my prompt was to find an image of a person with whom you'd like to have a conversation. Um, and I chose this lady because she looks awesome. Like her hat is fancy and her clothes are fancy, but she seems to be really bummed out about it. So I want to know where she's going and why she's not happy because when I put that much effort into how I look, usually it's for something fun. When I first looked at her, I really didn't pick up the fact that she does look sort of sad, doesn't she? Uh, well, her lips are kind of pursed too and her head's all to the side, you know. No one looks like this when they're happy. My prompt was find a work of art that your grandmother would like or would have liked to have in her living room. Um, this reminds me of being a child when I would go out to my grandparents' farm, just laying in the fields. My grandmother lived to be 96 years old, and this would have been a happy time in her place where she could just walk out there with us and um, enjoy the scenery, enjoy the colors, and basically it was just a really good time being on the farm. My prompt was find a work of art that reminds you of your childhood. So I chose this piece. Um, I think I probably spent 90% of my childhood outside, so that was easy enough. And I like this one in particular because it has the people that are, um, in my imagination anyway, they're working in their gardens. This might really be their fields, but um, this is sort of similar to where I grew up. Uh, a lot of rolling hills and a lot of agriculture but also a lot of uh, small houses and, and people with their gardens. To me, this was kind of a early fall. Leaves are just starting to change, and that, of course, has always been my favorite time of year, so that's what drew me to this one. My prompt was find a work of art that has something to say about grief or loss. And the reason I took this particular piece was because of the clouds in the sky and how when things seem the darkest and there's a storm, it will pass and eventually you'll be able to overcome the grief and loss that you suffered. And that's the first thing that I saw in this piece was the clouds. I was impressed by the fact that there are two very different interpretations of that painting. Uh, one as a very happy scene and the other one uh, grief and loss. Mm -hmm. 